Well, it's uh, the inaugural kickoff banquet, and um, in that, we're expecting that this will be an annual event and something that will grow and continue to help uh, our fans get acquainted not only with the team, but help the momentum going into the season. Um, so a lot of our, uh, like a lot of our teams here at the University of Louisville, they've uh, produced a banquet which has kind of kicked off the season, and we expect this to be one of many going forward. Talk about your star here and, and how nice it is to have a kind of a TV personality come in. Yeah, we're, we're so thankful it fit into Taylor's schedule and he was able to join us. And uh, he continues to be, uh, in many ways, a face of soccer um, analyst. Uh, he does so much and continues to do more. It's growing and we've talked about ESPN FC, which he's going to be hosting. And um, all the all the soccer now that's on TV, he's a big part of uh, the analyst aspect. So we're, we're so thankful he's here and joining us. and. Uh, just being a part of this evening. And how about a, a quick water cooler rundown of, of your expectations for the team and, and what fans should expect this year? Well, I think it's a lot of the same. Our, our style and philosophy is going to be very similar. Uh, we're going to be an exciting team to watch because we'll press, we'll put a lot of energy into it, an up-tempo offense, and uh, we'll be new, uh, so a lot of new faces. Um, and with that, there's going to be uh, some growth and adjustment and acclimation early. Um, but we're really excited about the new guys that have joined us. And um, early on in the last two days, uh, we've got glimpses of uh, the potential and where we're heading, and we're pretty excited about it. Who's the, who's the next star? for you, I think? Well, I, you know, I think Marlon uh, coming off uh, a good freshman year, having a very good summer and almost making the under-20 World Cup team has put himself in a position that, one, he's uh, recognized and people know who he is, and he's continued to grow as a player. He's already come in and had an impi impact in preseason. So uh, we expect him to, you know, have a, have a huge part of our season this year. Uh, Daniel Keller has grown into a great leader as well, and he's a guy that's a, bit, a little bit more unknown, but I think we'll have a very good year for us. Ken, what did you get out of the, uh, the scrimmage last night, an exhibition game? I thought it was great for us to have that early in preseason to kind of assess where guys are. Again, we have so many new guys. For us, a big part of it is rhythm, of, of getting a rhythm going, especially on the uh, attacking end, and getting reps, and in real live reps, and not just in, in training. So last night was wonderful, and it gave us those opportunities, and, and, and came out thinking that um, uh, we have a lot of potential. We have a lot of good starting points, and now it's just to build on it. How exciting is it to watch the progress of the construction site at Lynn Stadium? Yeah, we, you know, there's a lot of growth going on within the team and, and outside of it. And watching uh, the dirt being moved uh, and, and then setting the, you know, the, the, the foundation for that is really, really exciting. Any big changes in the program this year, Macy? No, I, you know, I don't, I don't think so. Again, there's uh, the anticipation for the future of the stadium and moving into the ACC. For us, we're staying focused on this season. You know, we don't want to lose the, the growth this season moving into that. And right now, it's um, really just maintaining um, early the, the culture and the environment. And, and with these young guys is now having the opportunity to build on it and become even a better program. Can you update some of the stars that have that have been here in the past, Farrell, and, and you know some of those guys that are in the MLS are moving on. Well, I think they're uh, they're doing well. We have a number of guys, uh, Farrell being one of them, um, Austin Berry and Nick DeLeon that are, are pulling regular minutes in there. Uh, Greg Cochran has played a lot of significant minutes for for the Galaxy. Palos just joined Montreal, and um, you know, and I just talked to Colin Roth, who's who's with the team now in in North Carolina. So they're they're all productive and doing well and having good experiences. And and you know, for us, we're just so thrilled that we had the opportunity to help them in their um, progress to reach their goals and potential in their dreams. So we're, we're so proud of them and, and their success certainly helps us from a recruiting standpoint that, that as they continue to do well in the MLS, there's a lot of people that look at that and say, well, obviously we're a, we're a program that can prepare them well for it.